Hey guys, good morning. Um, it today is Mo Monday, October. It does twenty fourth. I don't know. Uh, you'll see it on the <laughs> on the on the clip. But yeah. Um, so today's gonna be the first day I mainly focus on my fitness. Uh, see how that goes. See if you guys like it and stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my routine at least for today. Uh, today I'm trying to decide whether to do a push day or a um a leg day. I've been out of gym probably like three days, so um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, right, I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm gonna head to work, then to class, and then come back home, eat, and then go to the gym. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right. So this is my first weigh-in in the morning. One sixty-six point two pounds, ten point nine percent body fat. Um, yeah, but all right, guys. So this is my typical breakfast. Uh, yeah, uh, some rice. And that's. Four eggs, two whole, and two egg whites. About 15 to 20 grams of protein. Uh, about 12 grams of fat. Um, maybe about 30 grams of carbs and of rice. I don't have a scale yet, but yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it is raining right now. <coughs> I kind of like it though because we don't really get this kind of weather out here in Cali. Um, so yeah, but yeah, so I'm on my way to work, and yeah, my my job is a little secretive in terms of filming there, so unfortunately I can't show you guys um, the shop I work at. To my uh, Instagram, you'll see. Like where I work, um, I think I have like a picture there or two, but yeah, um, yeah. So I will catch you guys on the next clip. Most likely, I will be coming out of school and then getting ready for for my uh, my workout session later today. Okay, all right. Take care, guys. Alright guys, so I just got out of Target, picked up uh, <clears throat> some of these uh, Lenny and Larry's uh, cookies. Yeah, now, I never usually have these, I don't really like the fact that it's not whey protein, but it's something, you know, and it's got a good amount of carbs too. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. Uh, just got out of class. I hate I hate this class so much. It's a marketing marketing research class, and uh, it's just terribly boring. But uh, <laughs> it, it just sucks so much. Um, yeah, right now I'm gonna head home. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna uh, have one of these cookies. I'm probably gonna eat um, I don't know some rice or something to get some carbs in me, and then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and have a good meal and then I'm gonna take a nap, then maybe study and then head to the gym. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys once I'm at the gym. You like your treat, boy? Hmm? Love you, Sam. Thanks, man. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? <clears throat> so, I always like to start off my workouts by, um, at least my upper body workouts, by just uh, warming up my rotator cuffs. 
you know you always want to make sure that your muscles are well warmed up before you go for any heavy lifts and um, yeah uh, always get every area of your rotator cuff it, this will allow you to perform better and um, it'll take away the risk of injury too and then I just uh, I like to um, warm up with uh, some push-ups then from there this is when I started uh, my bench and I started off at just uh, a plate of 45 on each side. As you can see, I'm doing the powerlifting uh, um, position. I'm not normally used to this position, but I've recently started getting um, in, into the habit of doing it. It's uh, it's much more effective for your for your chest. And so, um, yeah, with uh, with bench, I warmed up on these 45s, um, and then I moved up to a plate of 45 and a 35 on each side which is about uh, that's a 20, 205 pounds 205 pounds as you can see here and then one of my friends he was uh, helping me out he was helping me record and um, so yeah here I went for three to five reps on this first set this is this is mainly my working set on this set um, I did uh, five reps and then the other two uh, working sets, I did about three to five. Um, and then uh, my friend spot me on that last set to be able to get up to five. Then um, we went over to um, incline. And yeah, on this one, I started on just a plate of 45s on each side. And it was actually kind of funny. Um, I was going to try the 45 and the 25 on each side and <laughs> I thought I would be able to get like three or five reps out of it and I was only able to do one single rep <laughs> but so I stayed on a plate of 45 on each side as you can see it um, it really isolates the upper chest um, you just want to make sure you keep your form well um, keep your back arched not too much but uh, just a good healthy arch then I went over to uh, some shoulder presses and again, my friend was uh, helping me record here. Um, so on the incline uh, bench press, you want to stay between six to eight reps, depending on what you want to accomplish. Um, you want to lift as heavy as possible, obviously, if you want to get stronger. So here, I did about three to five reps. You really want to focus on having that full range of motion and just... Uh, not going too deep either, because then that could uh, that could uh, be prone to some injuries. And right there, as you can see right there, I just couldn't <laughs> I couldn't hit that last rep. And um, yeah, so all these workouts I did about three to four sets each workout. Yeah, this is my second set doing this one. Um, feel free to just don't be afraid to drop the weight. Um, the for form is key, so just uh, quality over quantity all the time. And this is just me flexing a little bit, just admiring my gains, <laughs> even though they're not too much. <laughs> then I went over to uh, do some tricep pull downs with the V bar. I usually use the the rope, but I wanted to give the V bar a try. And. Yeah, so these you want to stay typically within 8 to 12 reps. On this first set, I did probably like about, I think it was like 8, eight to 10 reps. I'm not too sure. I, I went a little too heavy on these on my first set, and um, I had to drop the weight because uh, on these, you don't really need to go to failure on some heavy weight. You want to typically stay within um, 8 to 12 or 12 to 15 reps on these. And just really feel the squeeze on the on the triceps and really just engage um, every part of the tricep on this on this movement here then I went over to do some uh, overhead tricep uh, extension these this is a very important workout for the tricep this really isolates the long head of the tricep and um, 
So it's very important to actually get this uh, workout into your regimen. If you really want to try and grow your triceps, uh, you just really got to basically kill them, you know, do, uh, force them to grow, you know. Then I just finished off my workout by doing a little bit of core workout. And um, so right here I just did a, a kneeling cable crunch. Um, on these, you, you'd be surprised, you can do a lot more weight than you think. Um, just simply because you're using your whole body to thrust if you don't if you don't keep your form well. The main key is to just make sure that you're not using your whole body to thrust. Um, you want to make sure that you get to a neutral position and then just crunch down. It's a shorter movement than you think. Then from there I just finished it off with these uh, weighted uh, base and twists. And that's pretty much the end of my workout. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't recommend working on core until you're probably like around 10 to 11 percent body fat because um, if you do that, if you do it when your body fat's too high, it doesn't really do much. Uh, you'll get a better core workout by just uh, uh, focusing on your squats, deadlifts, all those uh, compound movements and. And uh, this is more like to just define the core once you have, uh, once you're, you're at a low enough uh, body fat percentage. So this is just a physique update. Uh, this is the first one I'm doing. This is the first one I've ever done. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is pretty much where I'm at. I'm trying to, if you guys know who Christian Guzman is, that's basically my goal. And yeah. All right, so I just finished up my workout. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed um, the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my workout. Feel free, let me know. Uh, put in the comment section if if uh, you have any suggestions for me. This is just me trying to uh, pursue my own goals. I mean, I I don't know it all. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm just, I'm just uh, a beginner, a beginner bodybuilder, just like many of you and. Uh, I'm just trying to record here. Yeah, just uh, give me your feedback if there's any other things you think I should uh, include in my videos or anything that maybe I should not include as much. Uh, just feel free and let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Take care, guys.